tournament. I think it's around 70% uh, with a fair I amount of games. But centaur. Hmm. Centaur. Fine. Yeah. But that is as long as the game is going fine for you. If you can commit yeah. for him. If you cannot commit, then you're screwed, right? He's just going to run in and kill all of you. Timber is dying. Well, not just yet. He doesn't lose his life. In the end, and on the other side, Bengen loses his life as well. That's going to be two quick kills for Nygma Gallus. Farming well so far on the Centaur, but uh, not any longer. Bengen comes back, and he does punish him, though. But that just means that the Centaur will be coming back full HP. Longer, and he's still there. So he proved the haters wrong. As GH is going to be going for force. He does take a lot of damage, but he's going to be fighting this one until the death. They try to turn it around. Whirling Death is available. But they need are? another hit for GH. Now onto Miracle. He's losing the damage. Power Shot off. On the uh, mark as uh, he is not getting the kill just yet. And there's the Fade Bolt Hero Miracle. You cannot really make a lot of moves. You either take those fights when the supporters rotate for the runes or you f give him stacks. So right now, I think it's actually Mouse has the upper hand in the types of moves that they can make. In fact, they might not even need moves as no. noob. Got him. And Dark Willow. Well, does have the Shadow Realm TP out, but... That's a pre-rotation quite nice. Me. Special. It does seem like Miles are going to be happier with the current state of things. If they get this Elder Titan, which it looks like they will, a couple of more hits, and there it is. Supreme gets another one. And, uh, well, it does seem like Nygma are going to be responding. And Armin loses his life, the first epicenter. Quite successful, and there's the Stampede. Supreme doesn't have any more mana, and he will be taken out. Stinger to finish him off. That is the response from Nygma. You wanted to see it. They're here. Yeah, they have two Blink Daggers queued up, right? Sumeo very close to his, and... Noob will probably oh, go for that. Wind Ranger plus the Wind Run. The scan has been used. Miracle, he knows that something is coming his way, but Nigma Galaxy, they're aware. Let's see if them being aware is going to be changing. Blink, and blink in from some mail. Stolen Burrow Strike. Okay, this is the one that we wanted to see from Narman. Force gets out just in time. And Ulnit will create space between his teammates. And uh, the enemy on well, the stomp does connect. So Mail can get the double burrow strike. They need to kill the Shrubik, but he will just burrow strike away. TP and Centaur coming in. They don't have the stampede any longer. We'll be tossing him onto the Centaur, but that haste rune is really making a difference. So Mail does take a lot of damage from the storm. Might need to wait a little bit, and they do bring down the Rubik. So that burrow strike not going to be doing that much any longer. The shackle shot this time around. The drinking buddies doesn't work in their favor, but they still have the snowball. And so Mail this time around went too far. GH caught by the uh, shards and we talk about Bengen he's just doing everything right Omar got betrayed by the creeps in the woods why why did they net him but it is gonna be costing him his life with Supreme getting a double kill and force doesn't seem to be done but he should because he's way too low to continue the chase damn dude force is a beast in this fight he's not even that far but the amount of damage he's able to output only overshadowed by the storm which by the way was fighting for a rune here. Can he actually get the The blade mail is annoying, but with the drinking buddies. What a dodge. Maybe he can get the kill in the storm. No. Snowball. Huh? Blink. Burrow oh, strike. baby. Nicely done. And he doesn't even give the stinger to Narman. Bengen is now trying to get away. Some mail. He's everywhere. The speed at which Nigma is playing. But he cannot get Bengen. Burrow strike in two seconds. He's going to try to run away. The turn splitter doesn't really do much, but they do bring down Narman either way. And some mail will live and leave. Alright, that was a really good burrow. Early blink deck. Miracle. Good positioning. He, I think he's fine. Oh, they're going for him. Didn't get the wind run off. Wall of Sponge will connect. There's the snowball. And with the stampede, even the Gorgon's Drafts isn't going to be enough. Bengen, too deep, will lose his life force. Same will happen to him on the other side. Think about Galaxy this time around. They are going to be much cleaner. He likes than that. Uh, the scaling on your heroes is a bit better. Does look very much dead. Very nice spell usage. Nigma, in terms of spells, haven't been missing any of them. This is... It's actually scary. Then clearly oh. mouths are underneath vision and they're not aware. This is something that's gonna cost you a hero at least and maybe even more. The Stampede forward stolen. Hooves stomp by Narman. Not really a spell you want to get, but Miracle is taking a ton of damage. Shards and a block force in. He's still gonna be drinking buddy to safety. Could maybe still. survive. Obviously... Uh, because of the new way you're playing Tusk now, where you don't rush the blink deck. Speaking of him, he might just be gone here. Yeah, well, let's see. Sumail might be in trouble. There's a spirit vessel that Narman just bought. Shackle shot. We'll keep the Medusa away, but there's other people that you have to be afraid of. They went to the buyback from Bengen. Not really necessary, and it will be a cue for Enigma Galaxy to bail. Yeah, they they knew they already got something out of that fight, at least. Losing Sand King hurts a little bit, but... 
at the end of the day. You have to get the Scotty. You don't really need uh, any more uh, defensive items. Benga needs to be careful. He bought back. They're going to be taking down Vision, but well, he does lose his life. Snowball shackle shot, and Ooh. with the Glaber, he might kill both of them. The Terrorized Miracle is back. The Goat of Dota still has it, Omar. He gets a double kill, but we all know who made all of that possible. And now they're chasing for more. They're going to be utilizing this to come over, going through the Twin Gates, and another shackle shot. It always connects on two people. Ulnit nowhere to run, nowhere to hide. Samael is there as well. Ulnit will try to turn everybody to stone. The Stone Gates will slowly expire. He does turn two of them. No Manta to dodge. He did have the Manta and didn't want to use it. Maybe he thinks he can still fight. There will be a Rubik coming back in five seconds, but he's all alone. Another Shackle Shot. He will not be moving an inch without mana. You're not tanky enough. And they do finish him off. A full That's five going man. way too deep. He needs to be focused more on saving people. And who's going to save Olnit? They know that he's alone. They've seen some heroes in the top lane. Miles just leave their carry to die. He will be using the Stone Gaze, but I don't know with what kind of scenario you get out of here alive. It really won't happen. They are starting to crumble here. Oh, here besides the Wind Ranger, but can always TP. Dark Willow uh, TP the first. No, oh, it's gonna be a long TP for Miracle. Echo Stomp. I can't man to dodge on it. Well, he's doing it perfectly. Burrow Strike. Roof Stomp. Not used. On it runs away. Shaka Shot. Next, but there's a snowball save. Walrus Punch, Terrorize, out of the totem with the Earth Splitter. They're just all together. Oh, my. I'm gonna still alive the Curse Crown as well. Stolen double edge. That's not a thing you ought to have. And Samael, he starts shaking the earth and mouse. They don't have anything to stand on. Narman will get one kill, but it is just such a small prize. Only a constellation. And then always having a response afterwards. Enigma Galaxy know exactly yeah, what damage. they need to do. And they found the storm. He doesn't have the BKB. And very soon he won't have his life unless he gets saved by the snowball and the drinking buddies. He does get onto the high ground. Who's the goat now? Huh, Miracle? Well, uh, he says, get down immediately from there. And exactly what Supreme is going to do. Miracle, he gets Bengen. Show the mentality oh, you have in this game, right? You, you just want to push wave. Out. Uh, I mean, what if you get Burrow Strike from Fog and dies? Uh, that is true. Well, Bengen will get uh, Hoof Stomped and uh, then die. So, a little bit of a different path to death, but the result is 30 minutes in. It seems that you're already deep in the dumpster, epicenter. He did get scouted by the Rubik, so sure, he's just gonna kill him. Well, that's alright, still. Landed all of the spells, gets the kill. That's the easy one for sure. As well, Supreme's just top lane, they have already found the Timber Saw. Let's see if they can keep him in place long enough. Echo Stomp does get the connection. There's the pipe that you want to see. Earth Splitter will be splitting his wig. And well, does uh, holy die crap, that's when we're gonna see them poke high ground. But Did I you just hunt, it, yeah. Well, like Bangan, maybe you just uh, hunt that one. Look at Supreme. We'll go for Miracle. Pulls him in. There is a BKB. You still need another stun. He'll pop the BKB. What was stolen? It's a wind run. Terrorize onto the two of them as well as the Hoof Storm. And now with the Whirlwind, this poor Medusa is just taking way too much damage. Miracle gets a double kill. The rest of Mouse, they just have to bail Supreme. Absolutely crazy. And just gonna be yeah, stinging we'll Roche. We will hear the sound eventually. There it is. We'll get the Ags. Where's the Burrow Strike? Omar. Okay, that's a big one. No buyback. Let's see. Can they go for more? That's the real question, Mouse. Or just go into the Roche pit. And they want to force out this fight. Alright, Sumeo. Good the position. Song? You cannot allow him to blink. Well, he wants to, but he can't. What a usage of the illusion still. Supreme oh. gets close to him. He says, kill me, kill me. I know you can't blink. And Norman goes in as well. They just all want to die by the hand of the king. And uh, it will be bang and gone as well. They will be taking out some mail. This isn't too bad for Mouse, especially with the buybacks. Maybe they can finally bring down Miracle. Where's the damage? There it is. Force finds him in the trees. And the stomp from the Elder Titan. A bit too late to save his buddy. They're going to be trying to find GH. Not going to be happening. Does he have an Aghanim Scepter? Or just a BKB? Have on the side of Mouse. And it does allow your Timber Salt to just go super aggressively to find the enemies. Looks like the Scepter's going for a... Full on. That's a nice terrorize. 
And Noob going in, gets the hoofs up up onto the two of them, saved Omar for a second epicenter this time around. Gonna be doing so much damage to the poor timber sign, does leave Olnit all alone. Bengen is in the vicinity there, probably gonna kill him first. TP in from the Elder Titan, Olnit is gonna try to turn everybody to stone, but the Echo Stomp without his Manta, nothing to allow him to dodge it. And you don't have a BKB, you will lose the Aegis, Storm is thinking about zipping in. Do you leave him? Do you fight? Can you allow your carry to just die and... Well, it's not about the question. If you can, you have to at this point. He is all alone and you will lose his head. It's gonna lobster. be insane. Insane amount of damage. Let's see. Going in. Supreme zips out. They will be finding the Timber Saw. This is the tankiest hero that you have. Mouse going in. Supreme just gets demolished from just a couple of hits. Only pops the BKB and is trying to stand his ground doing minuscule damage to the enemies. And, uh,. Enigma are gonna be thinking, oh no, well, they're still gonna be going in Armin, he does have his Burrow Strike Snowball saved there for a second, but ultimately, all of your heroes would die, and that will be game one for Enigma Galaxy. Very solid performance, it did take them some time, but uh, after minute 20, basically, it was uh, kind of written in stone. Who's gonna be taking this game? He does get the last pick. This is a pretty decent one, right? Because Puck doesn't. Be, uh, he should be okay. You cannot kill the Puck. You cannot threaten the Puck. Thus, it does come down to a CS battle that you might win, but uh, definitely not by a lot so far. So good for the Puck. These side lanes, however, are better for Enigma Galaxy, especially a stop double cookie. Bengen in trouble. You said it that we should be looking at the top lane, and the double jump from Noob does set up the kill from Amar. So. They are gonna be uh, starting off quite nicely again with the bang, you would say there with the uh, with the scatter blast being used on the morphling. Right, my galaxy. But maybe he has other plans. Uh, new build we haven't seen before. A solid blade mail game, right? Bedlam, epicenter, burrow yeah. strikes, sandstorms, puck spells. It doesn't look like a good blade mail game. It, it's only bad because the physical damage on the other side is kind of low, but you're uh, you're still okay with having some extra armor. Oh yeah, it's good, it's good. It allows you to farm a bit faster as well, because this hero definitely not the fastest farmer past the laning stage, as force. Oh, he's gonna be fine. Yeah. It's gonna be Miracle that is in trouble. Has a Healing Lotus. Okay, they're just baiting. They have the right clicks quite high there with the Drinking Buddies. Miracle hiding in the trees. Nice power shot through both of them. Norman is super low force as well. And Miracle oh. is gonna be the one standing his ground, getting a double Rain kill. Drops. Getting ahead of themselves. Ooh. And GH will just deny himself. He will be dead for 26 seconds, which will allow Miracle to farm everything in the lane. What an amazing bait. And uh, those power shots he landed... Two Asian. power shots on two heroes as they find on it. Yes, this is just gone. Yep, this is what uh, we've been talking about. Some mail in his rotations early on. He didn't do that great versus the puck, but the magnetize is now available. They want Bang and Dead. Beautiful roll. He gets himself a double. Double on uh, Miracle. Double on some mail. It is looking quite great for them. If they're going to be playing on land like this, it will be awesome for crowd. 4,000 strong in Belgrade. That boom dacha from the 24th to the 26th of October. As a roll this time around, it does not connect. Samael going forward, Dolnit might be in some trouble. He does have 10 1 charges. There's gonna be a snowball onto the two of them, and Miracle is here as well. Nigma have brought five heroes. You just don't have enough to bring. The puck will be there. Double call, but where's the damage? If you do not have all of your heroes here, and even with all of them, you do not contribute all that much early on. Nigma Galaxy will get two, and Mouse have absolutely no response to this. Jungling, but that's never. Ideal here, and it's only level four <laughs> in no force. way, shape, or form. Yeah. He's gonna be charging up the epicenter, and the snowball completely dodges that damage. So, mail is away just from afar. Okay, the Tusk is gonna be taking a bit of a beating, and they have the repel, so force is gonna be okay. Maybe you've gone too far. You didn't have enough to finish him off. You did fight around the sand. He doesn't need to have the blink. If you go into his face, that's gonna be a two for one. So, mail on the pango. It is actually flying out, and Mid this lane? is one thing about the They got some males, drinking buddies, however, they knew that this was coming, but they will pull them into the brambles, and there's the terrorize that we talked about. Mortimer's kisses from afar, force isn't taking all that much damage, Miracle goes in. Now you're gonna be taking a lot of damage. Still, gets into the tower and will be safe. It is a win for Mouse. They did their best, the drinking buddies, snowball, it's just there's no better creep for the snowball. And you end up on just kill himself? Oh, beautiful shards, and onto the high ground, the high ground miss, it's still not enough. 
because he lands in the brambles Narman is doing his best oh. to survive dodging those and well from afar he will get shot finally they get the kill but they will lose gh for it in the mid lane tower for what it seems deny nice and done by some male. okay can easily take two towers and barracks uh, especially considering there's gonna be some oh, what a play <laughs> Okay, okay, Enigma Galaxy are just using their spells way too good. People are a bang and is solo pushing. That's not gonna work out, my friend. Uses the repel. I'll try to fight. The rest of the team is here. Sumail has that blade mail that we talked about. Gonna be fed a cookie, and it does seem that it is gonna be giving him the fortitude to move forward even more this time around. Epicenter really not gonna be doing that much, and Supreme has to run nothing he can deliver to this fight no longer. That was a dead morphling 100%, as now they're gonna be looking towards the Sand King, doesn't have his Yules just yet. Very nice cookie users to even dodge that Terrorize, but Force does live through it all in the end. Well, roll in, nice Shadow Realm coming out just in time. The slows are there, and there will be another roll to make sure that Narman cannot escape. Miracle will be given a kill. Get him. While they're still here, they're uh, pretty cheap. And uh, it is a very nice venue as the fighting will continue. Samael gonna be going onto that poor Omni Knight who will not be getting out the rolling boulder stun. With it saving their uh, their carry was the main objective of that move. That's really unfortunate. Right, oh, you. Morphling! Gone. Just gone. They caught him with the uh, cookie and he didn't start morphing into strength. Yeah, that's the thing. If you stop for a Vlad's, it means your mount is gonna be so late and that this spell could have been important there as now. No. How do you even play this, right? You need to find GH first and kill him or else this drinking buddy saves with the snowball are too annoying. Rolling Thunder. The uh, shield crash doesn't stun him. He does get silenced but gets the blink out in time. The uh, Orchid. Doesn't uh, do any damage, so you're always able to uh, get yourself out. And now the puck has the Yules. Sand King is getting Asian close. The sentry will find a ward. Not for long. Fine. We'll find some mail, doing some damage to him. The blade mail was used. Coil won't be broken. The brambles are going to be saving him from it as uh, Puck removes the silence and then gets the kill on his mid lane counterpart. Narman taking out to the uh, magnetize and one more hit will kill him. It's gonna be the snowball plus the uh, uppercut punch. As Puck still running away, TP out Supreme will be safe. Gleipnir into the trees. I wouldn't necessarily say so. I, I, I'm seeing a lot of less just because I can disassemble it for Satanic yep. as uh, that it is going to be a dead Sumail. This is one thing with the smoke they are looking for more. No. On no. Well, let's see if you can go through that shield room with the Terra as he gets the silence of double shield crash there. So uh, you're gonna be going through that very, very hard and he gets given so a healing Lotus. He's still alive! Will be able to survive. Narman is the one that falls. The rest of Maus have to run away. They've used everything they had. That shield rune making a huge difference. Miracle coming forward. Beautiful power shot on the money. And Bengen without his repel is going to be taken out. No. Nice blink. Burrow strike onto the two of them. The Glaper and the science magnetize as well. Now Force is going to be in so much trouble as well. Miracle needs to move away from him. They've lost the puck. And now they're going to be losing Force as well. Getting close to him. The yeah, sandstorm isn't enough damage to bring down this wind range. Yeah, nope, though. nope. He's staying there longer. So male rolling in, misses on it, barely turns him to stone. And now waveform away. Oh, okay, he missed the cookie. How did he roll through the earth spirit there? Okay, so male not getting in front of him in time. So He's now we're gonna be water. seeing two rolling people. As uh, Samael maybe have gone too far, here comes the help with the pipe, so Samael won't be taking all that much damage. Nice What's heals on? from the Sand King, he's gonna be surviving super long, and you don't have your Enchant Remnant to turn yourself into it. But still, let's see how this fight will go, Miracle in the backline has found the supports, there's no more help for the cores. But you did take down two of the heroes, will it? We'll get caught, still has the waveform and the Manta. So he has some ways to keep himself alive, the chase of Nigma. However, oh, is very, very powerful. And the Manta to the other side? Perfect. Oh, let's see. Manta, he doesn't even use it. Gets Shackle Shot at 2, a creep. Their damage output isn't that high. He's gonna get Glaipnir right after it. No chance to waveform and no chance to survive. Miracle is beyond gone. Yeah, we could see signs of life, signs of hope, right? The, the Morphling miracle. actually surviving. There's no BKB. He's oh, gone. Oh, boy. Very nice. Oh, okay. That is a 1,010 gold. Bailey. 
They are gonna be warding, so they want to take it. Rolling Thunder, the smoke has broken, going forward. Curse Crown is there. Samael gonna be rolling in. Does get stunned up mid-roll. And he does dodge it by that. Mortimer's kiss is Narman still alive, not for long. Rolling Thunder still going strong. Supreme gonna be going for the Tusk, trying to finish him off. Not gonna be Watch happening, so not strong. just yet. Buyback, they've come out from the Dark Willow. They wanna fight for Surreal isn't gonna be taking all that much damage. Shackle shot, they want Bang and dead. And he's gonna be surviving through it all I with said. his ulti. But they are gonna be starting to overwhelm this fight. Shackle shot onto the Morphling, did get the morph off. Terrorize, gonna be connecting on Miracle. There's the Curse Crown. He needs to get out right now. The Curse Crown connects onto the two cores. The is in, but he is damage really isn't that high very nice burrow strike and puck has been silenced he needs to blink away miracle surviving through it all on it very much low there's the science and finally they're going to be bringing down this wind ranger dies to the witchblade damage supreme still going in ad on him curse crown no yep. not going to be allowed to oh. get out they will use the yules he might dodge the curse crown because of it but he will still go down it will be a four for four very good and now the puck has the parosma so his damage output has skyrocketed and mouse are going in two of their heroes aren't smoked so male gets the silence and king has been caught and if you kill the tusk it is a big deal he doesn't have a buyback now there's not gonna be any saves where's the guardian angel force might need some help not gonna be happening Benga next on the menu there's the guardian angel oh, enter oh, 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 oh. the burrow strike onto the three of them with a follow-up oh, call holy this crap. is it for nigma they get demolished by mouse who are definitely not gonna allow themselves to be beaten in that in the series easy they beat og today and another legendary team for a long period of the time you uh you get much better as a team well, I try to stick together with my friends and we just... Oh, wait a second here. Drinking buddies, is it enough? BKB being forced. Okay, that's too deep. You're in tier four. Oh, no. on it. He might goal. need some help. But can they do anything to the Morphling? He just BKB and run himself away. They've already lost GH. He just turns into a rock and rolls himself out. Let's go. Do, do you go high ground here with the Aegis, even without the BKB? Doesn't look like they're considering it. Yeah, they're committing roll in, but the rolling thunder immediately stops it. There's the Terrorize. It does look like some male will be losing his life. No buyback. What was he no thinking buy? doing that without the BKB? We don't have any BKBs now. This is a disaster. And going for noob roll up. He's gonna protect himself for now. No net. Let's see just how much damage he does. He has to morph solidly into strength because he's low and Norman has been caught by those shards, but they just have everything they need in force. He can just posture aggressively as much as he wants. They don't have the damage to kill him. Oh, the burst strike once again forced. He's not only damaged, oh he's also catching the coil onto the three of them. You have no BKBs. You're gonna get annihilated and drowned by this morphing. A tsunami is coming to overtake your base. Enigma Galaxy, they just were not prepared. Damn, Nigma, they were bold. They were very cheeky the whole series, but then one mistake is all Mouse needs to come back so strong. And this is gonna be at least two lanes. 40 seconds, no miracle. This, there's a tier two tower bottom, right? The game is not over, but we went from like Nigma getting kills literally every minute and the gold lead never changing. And glyph. finally, it's, oh yeah, they want the glyph. And they want the series. Well, Samael oh. found again, pulled by the waning rift and taken out. He just can't finish his BKBs. And he doesn't even have a buyback. Is this over? This might be over. Let's see. Seven seconds. Miracle will be back. But he doesn't have his Daedalus. And there's an Agon and Scepter just, in the box. The Morphling can just right-click. Why not? There's the stun going in. GH, he wants to put his body in front. Rolling Thunder forward, Noob. He needs to create enough chaos here. And again, in the back lines, everybody gets caught. They will buy back on the Tusk this time around. GH does have it on it. His hero, his model is bugged, but he knows exactly what he needs to do, and that is go for the throne. Snowball forward in the other side. Miracle has been caught. He's going to pop the BKB with the Whirlwind going forward. And let's see if he can do enough. Olnit is focusing on the throne. Maybe you've gone too far. Shackle shot onto the two of them. He lost the Morphling once. He still has another life supreme with the coil doing way too much damage with that agonim scepter they are gonna be living through it all mouse and enigma galaxy are not gonna be so lucky we've got a series on our hand bowie there we go weaver for miracle mid shadow fiend we don't get die. Let's see, and they got him. Well, if you started off with the first blood on Supreme, that might be a way to help you in the mid lane. And I'm not even sure that the Dragonite loses all that much any longer in any of the matchups. Uh, GH, in fact, it might already be a nightmare here. 
Yeah, they pulled the wave. It is only level 1 Iron Shell, so really the damage output of that isn't all that high. But once you get level 3 on 4s, that is when things become scary. You did get level 2. Naga Siren, if there's one thing that's good about this hero, it is that she has insane amounts of base movement speed. 330. Oh yeah, even in the land, can slither in away as they actually get some decent shards, but yeah, way too fast. There's no way you're getting on top of GH. <laughs> he just moves, doesn't care. Uh, both of the heroes are gonna get connected on with the bugs. They will remove them, but a lot of armor was already lost. Now the snowball forward and GH this time around. Has he gone too far? The movement speed is there. Narman, where are the shards? He's gonna get them. That's why he's chasing. He knows the deluge slow doesn't matter. Miracle get another small. connection. Miracle is also in some trouble. He does have the Shikuchi. Wanted to get those hits onto force. Not gonna be happening, Ooh, but to he's the dives, right? Because there will be dives coming from both the Loon and the Witch Doctor as well as the Toast Darks here. The best hero of theirs to react to the dives is definitely this Dark Willow. So Good vacuum. Exactly. Yeah, perfect one into the shards. Jeez, gets pulled back. They're losing a solid amount of armor because of the bugs and they will be taking out GH. So Four is quite happy with that. Now they're gonna be dealing with the Swarm Miracle. So needs to be careful. 9-1 charges in the healing Low Lotus. So. But uh, so far so good. I think the, without the first blood, Sumeo would be pretty much where he is as they are now Forcing this tower and not a defense being mounted. Oh, Bengen is there, TPing in from the Tusk. GH looks very much dead. The Maledict will kill him at this level 1 Maledict, but the damage has already been done. Shards quite nice. Drinking Buddies being used. Hoof Stomp is there. He needs to be careful. Miracle. But Miracle does join in on the fight, going through the uh, Twin Gate. Doesn't really do all that much damage himself, and all the bugs are gone. Even Samael will come over again. Enigma Galaxy, they want to be bringing all five of their heroes' career. Will survive for now. Bengen doesn't allow his little buddy to die just yet. The only th they did manage to get him out of a bad position, so now even if Narman dies, it's really not that big of a deal. He tried to go with the drink. Yeah, this is looking... What's miracle. No ball. Vacuum. It does look like he's gonna be fine. Uppercut punch. He does have level 6. Doesn't get it off. They wait for the time lapse. Maybe could have killed him. It is gonna be used now on Omar, who's just dying to the Iron Shell. Norman doesn't have water in four. Still alive. Oh, I can't believe that GH really wants him dead. Doesn't have the moon speed to oh, get it towards no. him. And Bengen is gonna be going for Miracle. Miracle is gonna be going down on it with a loose and finishes him off. And now GH is going too far. Mouse again. They're doing so well. Ulnit is coming. He knows that he was being hunted, but he wants the kills as well. Not gonna be allowed because Supreme gets it earlier. Once again, Mouse are gonna the be ones. There in like 500 gold. I mean, Force is farming extremely fast. And look at Bengen's positioning. When you have the oh, greedy, so you don't really care. Is he out? Okay, just use it. Yeah, kill him. Still, that is a three minute cooldown here being used for a support kill. When you have to move four heroes, it is not ideal. Nope. And he gave so much info to his, to his it, But there is a sleep available. Somebody needs to go out. Somebody needs to shut the mouth of GH. Because if he sings, it's going to be a problem. And he could get the Aegis beforehand. Now, running in with the center. He might be the one in trouble, even with the Blade Mill Terrorizer. Away. It does keep oh, them at bay. Oh, the Requiem. They have, a, they have a snowball. Yeah, there it is. So it doesn't really do all that much. Only just walks back and goes oh. in. The glaze are going to start bouncing. You're too deep. You're inside of a wall. And your head will be broken on it. GH is the only one who gets out. Mouse are now in oh, full control. Time lapse away here. Uh, to survive just supreme. Nobody else was there, right? It was only the Dragonite that caught him. And just does more than oh, the enough vacuum. damage. The vacuum noob is gonna be standing there waiting for death. Miracle, he says, maybe it's a good bait. Going for the Dragonite, they're trying to finish him off, but Supreme is not taking any damage. The Bedlam, it only tickles him. Also, the casket is amazing. They have the Maledict onto two heroes, and now they're gonna be focusing on Doom ye on Noob yet again. Also, no time left. Time. you don't have the time lapse. You can't turn back time, and you would like it to turn back to the draft because that's where Mouse got a huge advantage maybe to that roche would be That's good right. enough all of that lead all of the aura items if nigma is taking this fight they're gonna have to wrap around they're gonna have to do some miracles as they jump on it oh and look at that wall in a vacuum into all of them and now you cannot escape there's the shards with the wall buyback on some mail miracle he still has his time lapse in the glaive near but you did no damage you basically did nothing to your enemy it did not tickle you have so many auras, you have the protection of the tusk, how are you ever?
healing this Luna. Sure, it doesn't have an Aegis, but it's... You need way more than that to get this kill, and this is going to be the first end of Barracks. Yeah. There's no way. There's no way you're you stopping can get close. You can't get close versus a Luna when she enters your base and the glaives start bouncing. That is when the real trouble starts. They get the melee. Okay, now. you're already out of this one? I mean, are, do you <laughs> bend the Witch Doctor? That's just the question I want to make. Because, like, Bengen is making an argument for this guy, man. Uh, what is it, five and zero after this game? Yeah, I mean, yep. you have to. You ban it in the... In the uh, Oh, First the second game didn't help. Well, that's the stun. Terrorize as well. They're trying to kill oh, the, the mech. And the mech comes out. He gets the BKB. manta and the BKB off. He'll be fine. And now you're again inside of the wall. All clumped up together. At least you will die as friends, Nigma Galaxy. But you will not go to the land that easily. Because there is Watch, a... I... I do think this is a good game for Nigma though. We'll see if they can recompose themselves. That game number three was a bit rough. Yeah, it might be a little bit of a snooze fast in the in the early game, but no storm rotations. Uh oh, that's some bushwhack action there with the torrent. Hold it, lift it up into the air. We'll be taking a decent amount of damage. That uh acorn shot does hurt him quite a lot, and that is the uh the first more aggressive play that we see. Another Omar. hero is also low on the map, Omar. Did you go too far? He does have a oh, bushwhack, so Bengen can't kill him, but uh you're gonna be looking towards the loot and he just dies. That was really good. That was, uh, he was s setting up for the range that creep and he wraps around. Force doing relatively well in this lane. I mean, everybody is farming okay ish. As Omar will be going down. This Luna might not have as many C at all dominant in this series. Yeah, it wasn't. And, you know, That's I don't want to really put it on Miracle or anyone. I think he has been just uh, Not supreme. a little. Gone. Bengen could yeah. be next on the menu. He does have oh. his uh, mirror image, so maybe he can dodge the burrow strike. Not gonna be happening. He thought he could do it, so didn't go for it earlier. And they even found Norman. <laughs> the tree bounce trick shot almost getting them a bonus. Pretty cool, right? He he has a lot of experience. We have teams these days that have like two, three coaches, and uh, I'm sure all of his expertise would be of great value to Samael. Well, he just turns around and gets a kill. He might die because of that kill Supreme. Still can't get close. Narman also took quite a lot of damage. The Burrow Strike is ready and it will be a little bit too short. Um, Samael is Supreme. Doesn't really have all that much mana. The supports are chasing for him. And the tree bounce trick shot slows him down. They get the right clicks away as well. So Nigma Galaxy. They it's are not going to matter because there's not going to be another game. But if they lose, Samael does dodge everything. Yep. Nicely done. GH. We can slow down the hoof stomp, the echo stomp. Slow down Omar in the oh, mid lane. Supreme, very nice cut of the tree there. Nicely done. But here comes oh, the ball. Supreme will dodge it. Not nice. just in the nick of time. Of course, still alive there. Has been uh, chased down quite a long time and does get a TP away in time. Samael, no burrow strike and it is only level one. So it was the super range. normal. <laughs> okay. Okay, I don't think that's oh, the case here, but Noob, you're gonna get pulled in. He does have the Admiral's Drum, and you're just gonna be pulling in the Luna. Yeah, yeah, go for me. Thank you, thank you. I wanted this to happen, and it is just gonna be all that going down. I think the that damage from being applied, even if they're not taking the towers, because their heroes are pretty garbage at that. But finally, Miracle shows up. The pipe is done. I forced. Did oh, yeah. Sleep? He still hasn't popped it. He's baiting. Arrow. Okay, they didn't start, but he does connect on Miracle. So he cannot help, Ooh, and they already destroyed some mail. So that's going to be a two-second arrow. Now they're trying to kill him. He does have the stone gaze available, not using it just the yet. Up. The, ba the boat is coming, but what a dodge from Force. He knows exactly how he needs what? to play to not get caught by it. Now go in from Supreme. Noob, he does have his blade mail. Not an easy target, but they're going to be reeling him in, pulling in. The Kukaku has been arrowed. Also, Olnit is the quite a lot of damage with Miracle going forward with his ulti. Meanwhile, in the back lines, GH has been no caught mana. as well. And Miracle, very low mana. He needs to escape. He needs to escape now while well, the Sand King is back. So, Maus will decide. Dodges is the no X. And I know it can be done three times in a row, though. Seems a bit too consistent as Bangan. He's fine you with the Glimmer Cape, and it is going to be some male that's in trouble. Dodges on the Bushwhack, Yules at the perfect time, so he doesn't get arrowed. They're still going in. They want oh, some male, no. and they're going to be deleting him. The chase is on Echo Stomp. 
a very sleepy two teams right yeah, guys right because in fights only is taking a decent amount of damage from the blade mail as well and there's a lot of aoe and maybe if he's given that it's a big deal well they're gonna take him out shard really isn't gonna help you in this situation sharpshooter to end his life and the rifle might be baiting here on the side now i think it's quite uh, easy for mouse to read what's going on arman doesn't get stunned up so male instantly blinks away very smart but it does leave omar all alone they're gonna be going for smell they understand that he is the important one what a stone gaze just stops this timber saw he has an That's agonim scepter yeah they get the yules to stop it and he gets himself away the epicenter does nothing and luna goes in into that one the Sleep is there. Already used a lot of your spells and what a snipe from Force. You no longer have the Sad King Golden. He's just bouncing around with those blades. He has to be careful on that blade mail. Noob is dropping one. Force wants to finish him off. He's gonna be trying to survive for a long period of time. Not gonna be happening. Even with the Echo Stop and Force is still gonna be going in. He's ready to cut them all down. Just like the trees that they're surrounded with. Nigma Galaxy have lost four. Miracle, he has two lives, but no use for them at all because he has no friend. As they're trying to push bottom, the Loon oh, is actually. Man. Getting that tower. Unreal. Nobody's responding. He's all alone because BKB TP out. How are you going to stop him? And you do have two yeah, spells. You're right? not stopping it. This is just sheer domination here. The Aegis is on the side of Nigma, but he might as well be on the side of the Radiant. And, you know, Miracle just doesn't push that fast. That's the thing with Medusa. You need to actually be ahead so that the enemy team feels pressured to, to attend your you but this loot is just farming there's a tower here whenever the fight starts there will be a unit tp force is losing a ton of mana 26 seconds and there it is he's coming I want to wait for the Aegis. Noob is taking so much damage. They're going for Omar as well. Supreme going in. Pops the BKB. Doesn't care about the Burrow Strike again. That Epicenter does absolutely nothing. The Stone Gaze was already used. This is going to be a chase force going in. He knows there's nothing else left to give. On the other side, the Torrent will slow him down. Only trying to give vision there with the Luna. It is nighttime. But uh, Nigma Galaxy are far Aww. enough away. Supreme on the high ground. Found some air pulling him in. Get the King. If you get the King, his servants, he really won't be able to do all that much. Samail, even with the with the blood stone he will not be healing nearly enough and there will be an ensnare the song. On noob they want Admiral. miracle they want more you're right they found everyone okay gh out of that one the arrow does connect and he's gonna be stunned for five seconds the echo stop it does put them to sleep three of them but supreme is still in so they're gonna be waking up fairly soon miracle he is trying to fight everybody but left all alone this time around the snake will not live they will cut off his head and make sure then only the position 5 survives. GH unable to save his laning buddy. Unable to do anything for his team. Force and the boat. And you either song or wait it out or you just chase the miracle. Oh, the arrow stop. lands. It did land and he's losing all of his mana very soon. He's going to be losing all of his HP. He's just oh, dying. The oh, oh, the great healing Lotus. <laughs> he's fine. GH God. This could have been, I mean, this could have been huge and they but get another. Done. Supreme doesn't have all that much mana, needs to be careful. Omar is taking a lot of damage. Their splitter doesn't really do all that much. The problem is that Force is way too tanky. Samael is charging up the epicenter. He doesn't know who to go for. Should I go for Force? No, he's too strong. The arrow did connect now, trying to go for the Luna, but instantly the sleep every single time. Bengen is ready. He doesn't even want to risk it. They know they're winning this fight anyways, but still wants to do everything perfectly. Bengen now with an invis. They don't see him. They don't have the support. They don't have the vision, but they are going to get caught anyways. Do you have any more greater healing loses is any more flowers to give for this guy only to put on miracle's grave because he is going into the ground as enigma galaxy are buying back on their two cores to so get slaughtered once again force is doing whatever the hell he wants these are not your tier four towers this is not your base they have a tier two in the mid lane that's the saving grace of enigma here but what if they poke tier fours how confident is mouse here they could just disengage and get ages how confident They've been very clinical here with the way they applied pressure. You could just leave, and it looks like that's what they're gonna do. Immortal Faith taught them well. They they definitely Coming. outplayed Nigma and now spoke. No song at the moment, so cool. this is your best bet. The thing is that Force is just way too strong, Omar's and also dead. they will be found finding Omar. Can't do much about it. He's still alive. Well, not for long. The storm will be finishing him off, and Force is just one versus four. He doesn't care. Nobody can stop him. Sure, he oh, didn't kill no. anybody the just Marana yet, but that's gonna mail With the tip, this is a disaster. This could be over.
It's not going to be over. It's over. There's absolutely no chance. I have to say, Mouse didn't even do all that perfect in that fight. They're just that many times stronger. They were so hectic, right? The, the heroes were all separated from Nigma. They couldn't really play together as a unit, whereas Mouse, they were in great position. They had... They, they were just forcing this Roche. They, they instantly get out. They knew that Nick was not showing in the lanes and own it. There we go. Look at him. Abused, destroyed in every laning stage, but he had the backup of his team. He had, uh, I mean, force and the supports, man. You got to give it to them. That was, you know, they might be the new set of supports that we're going to be seeing praise in all of these lands because they play goddamn well this series. Perfect. All three of your cores are dead, Nigma Galaxy. I think they're aware. They just don't want to admit it just First yet. Meter. Even protecting Yulnit. They are doing everything. GG, good luck further. They're gonna be wishing all the best to Mouse. We wish them the best as well. They are coming to Belgrade.